Dear teachers, believe in what you're saying. Are you asking me or are you telling me? Speak with conviction. These are phrases I've heard over and over again grating at my eardrums. Speak with conviction. You have suddenly asked me to value my own opinion and to believe that I know what I'm doing. And I'm sorry, but I don't think you understand just how much I can't do that. You see, kids grew up in the world of the silent child. Children to be, see were to be seen and not heard, and our opinions didn't matter. In elementary school, nobody cared what we thought. And in middle school, an opinion was often mistaken for attitude and would earn you a one-way ticket to the principal's office. The good kids learned how to give the answer that the teacher wanted to hear, but to answer uncertainly in hopes of catching any mistakes. They answered in fear of being wrong. We were taught in school that you have to be right and you have to be correct and that be, being wrong and failing is the worst thing you can do. Failure is what we feared, and it is what we still fear, so we give the right answer or no answer at all. And we never learned how to develop an opinion or how to share our side of the story. And the idea to us is petrifying. We don't speak with conviction because we don't have any. We don't believe in what we're saying because we don't believe in ourselves. And we are asking you because we're afraid to tell you the wrong thing. We are afraid to speak and to believe because we are afraid to fail. But at the end of the day, we thank you for valuing our opinions, for pushing us to be sure of ourselves, and for believing in us. And we just need you to understand that it may take us a little bit longer to believe in ourselves. Sincerely, your students.